Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. So, we have an exciting day. We have a wonderful day. We have a beautiful day. We have the day we are finally performing the most sacred of live stream tasks. Excuse me for one second. My apologies. Well, yes, the most sacred of live stream tasks. Today, we are doing an unboxing, specifically an unboxing of an oil industry. Oh, yes. Actually, well, well, we'll see if I want more, if I want more relays than that. But yes, I do want more relays than that. And oh, isn't that wonderful news? Yes. So... I think there's nothing to it but to do it. Let's get unboxing. So we are going over to our beautifully named oil chunk. And we are going to start building up a wonderful series of pump jacks and distilleries and burners and just beautiful, wonderful devices that are going to make our entire life better. So where's the edge of the chunk? Because that is where I want to start building this. I want to pack this as tight as possible in case it needs expansion. Let's begin with the pump jack. The pump jack is going to need... 11 steel scaffolding, 6 treated wood fence. Oh, we have so much scaffolding in there. It's a good thing it's cheap. Hmm, six of those. Yes, ignore my test post over there. That was just me making sure that my overlay was working. We're going to need four fluid pipe. The overlay is a bit of a pain because I need to reassign its website every single time. So you're probably always going to start off with seeing my test post down in there. But it means that my chat is never empty, at least. Oh, that's a lonely statement. Two heavy, two blocks of steel. We have so many heavy, heavy engineering blocks in there. And it should be for sheet metal, right? Yep, right. Right, Aroni. All right, so we're going to need scaff, scaff, light. And just start it entirely in the corner, like that. Fill out the rest of a 3x3 three three of scaffolding. Then a T of piping and a T of... Scaffolding? That doesn't quite look right. Yeah, it's an inverted T. Never mind. With the remainder just like that. Okay, on to the next level. Extend upwards, heavy in the middle. Sticks by the sides. Hey, yo, Riley. Nice to see you finally here. Unless I've been visited by your alts before and haven't realized it. But I'm glad I finally caught you at a time when we can... Uh, when we can meet face to face. Hey, Prince 2, my god, of the entire crew's here. I think all we need now is Mr. Fancy Schmancy, who needs a proper shout out. I really should. When this episode goes up onto the channel, I will be. I think I've given him a shout out on this already. But I'll definitely be linking his channel if I haven't already, which I don't think I have. Yeah. Okay. Da, 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 da. So, heavy, heavy. Just continuing up that. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's where it goes. Okay, and then da, da, da. we do one, two, three, four. With the drooping on the end. That redstone block one to the left. 
You were right. Thank you. I am terrible at these multi-blocks. And we can turn F9 mode off. Now, which one is it that you have to hit? What are the Normans building? Well, whatever. They're having fun. Okay, what did I build wrong? Let's see. Light, light. Those are up where they should be. It looks like everything's been built properly. So why the hammer no? Do I have to hit the redstone block? Seal lock? What do I hit? Uh, da, 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 da. On the, the engineering hammer, on the heavy engineering block, on the second layer. Yeah, that's what I do. Back middle block, heavy engineering block. And no, that's heavy, heavy up on. That's where the heavy engineering block goes. Oh, you're, you're saying hit that one. Yeah, I'm hitting that one. So. Da, 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 da. That's correct. That's correct. Are the pipes maybe connected in a derpily way? Hmm. From behind? Yeah, that ain't happening. Shift clicking ain't working. And yes, the chat lag is wonderful. Okay. So the steel block should be at level with the heavy engineering block. Yep. Hmm. Ah, the se the second layer. A derp, a derp, and a derp. That is shameful. All right. And I've just realized that I'm going to need to run the power lines over to the jumpstart this entire industry. Or, you know what? We can use the capacitor. Never mind. Not a problem. So, this thing is eventually going to need power. But let's just go right ahead and build the second one already. Let's move our wonderful little chunk marker here. And let's right away pick up another one. So these, these, these. And we're going to need two of these. These. How many scaffolding? One redstone, six fence, and eleven scaffolding. And one of these, and six of those. And yep, that's our entire pump jack. So let's see if we can do this slightly less derpily this time. So let's separate this out. Hmm, could I kind of effectively rotate this? That would be more advanced thinking than I'm used to. Let's just separate them out by a bit. Okay, so. Next, start with this 3x3. Three three. And then a T with another T. Next, redstone on here. Heavy engineering blocks over Nya. And... Yeah, Riley, I've been building up my oil industry blocks for a couple of days. That is indeed a diesel gen ready to be made. We are starting the oil industry. Yup, yup. I have picked out this chunk to be kind of the start of the second phase of the base. And I have I have picked out two pump jacks, a entire distillation tower, a couple of tanks of uh, a couple of liquid tanks. I've got some pollution filter blocks here. I've essentially got everything I need. This is an oil industry in a box. Huh, good. They do indeed have oil output blocks right there. Cool. All right. 
So we can then take just some of our spare fluid pipes. I have extra fluid pipes in there, yes. Uh, maybe I should separate them by one more just for the sake of symmetry. Nah, that's a bit more aesthetics than we need. Okay, where's my amulet? Yep. Nighttime happens when I say it happens. And I say it doesn't happen just yet. Move this all the way into the corner so I can think about what it's done. Okay, let's start working on our distillation tower. So... That's gonna take 25 scaffolding, 30 scaffolding slabs. What have I got additional scaffolding for? I don't remember. I don't think scaffolding is part of a diesel engine. Oh, it is. All right. Well, Riley, I lost my amulet once too, you know. And you know what I did? I bought another one in the village I didn't cheese. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, I was a bit better about, uh, I, I built myself a village, I built myself a village to cheese over on the snow island you told me about, thank you for that. Okay, so I'm gonna need, yeah, I have liquid pipes on me. Uh, one redstone heavy, four heavy, da 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 da. And 60 pieces of sheet metal. Yeah, yeah. Even the younglings. You were supposed to bring balance to the village, Riley. You were their brother. They loved you. Okay. Pause the auto build, please. So. Pipe. Are those heavies? I think those are heavies. And... So, pipe, 3x3, three three, heavy. Let's make the pipe in line with these. Will that be inside of the chunk borders? Yeah, that should be. And... Scaffolding all around. Uh, we're going to be doing this in Zumo Vision, simply because... I'm carrying all that sheet metal. You know what? Let's just not carry that for the meantime. Yep. It's frustrating to build it with weight limits. I really wish that I had... That I had, um... The projector. Okay, and that should be... Yep, that's just... Two more layers out. It's a little bit off foundation, but that's okay. We'll fix it later. That won't cause any sort of disaster whatsoever. Okay, next it's a pipe going up. The first of our sheet metal foundation and the last of our heavy engineering. Da, da, da. With... You know, let's just build out the entire tower. Just to get the heavy sheet metal out. Yeah, it just goes all the way up. Scaffolding over there on the far side of it, on the opposite side of the redstone block. With the redstone block side being in the corner here. Yeah, he refused because um, I'm the one who actually found out about, well, I, I don't know if I'm the one, but in my previous playthrough, I attempted to build a projector and found it was not working. I asked him about it. I, I even filed a bug report about it, and he told me that the projector is disabled intentionally because of the fact that it causes a crash. 
So, yes, it won't be re-enabled because something in the pack is breaking it. Shouldn't I have two more heavy engineering blocks on me? Uh, I guess I just didn't grab them out. Now, is that all the heavy engineering blocks? Yeah, and they have a pipe on top. Okay, so, pipe goes up, tower goes up. That's the base layer. Redstone, pipe, blank, heavy. Redstone, pipe, blank, heavy. We are building it correctly so far. And... Mirrored opposite the redstone on that side. That is where the scaffolding goes up. Double, triple checking. Because I'm bad at working it without without a projector. But... Okay, is this thing any more complicated than just going up? Yeah, okay, so... After this, it goes up one, two, three, and that's when we have the first layer of scaffolding skirting. Oh, I have the skirting on me. Cool. So, da, 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 da. so one of these, one of these. And one of those. Next. Yeah, that's the layer of being on level with that. So next layer is just continue the pattern and then the skirt. Okay. And up we go. And this one should be the skirt, which is just a plain old... Yep. And let's move our shovel off. Oh, this is unfortunate. I can't really... Yeah, I, I think I need to temporarily toss these over here just so that I can move around. Uh, you Oh, restarting? Okay, well, I mean, if you did restart now, with everything you've learned, I'm sure that you could probably kick our asses on getting back to this point. Uh, there's a question. Is this top slab or bottom slab? It's top slab, it's looking like. Okay. Well, good thing we found that out before... before we got too high up. So, can I... I really wish I had a magnet... I really... Well, then, if I had a magnet, I wouldn't even be able to consider keeping that out of my inventory while I was doing this. I should have brought a bucket of water with me. Okay. First of all, have this up on this level now. Yeah, there. Okay. Yeah, and it's level with the top. Uh, you need a thermionic fabricator as well as the carpenter, and I don't have a thermionic just yet. I've been lazy about that. I know. Oh. Well, we finally did it. But thankfully, we can climb scaffolding. Where'd you go? Yep, I've been lazy about throwing together the thermionic fabricator.
I've been more eager to get the oil industry going, get power going. Well, congratulations, Prince. I'm glad for you. Alrighty then, continuing on up. This is going to go up from the skirt layer. Goes up one, two, three, and then another skirt. And that's on this one, right? I mean, I can kind of ignore weight with my shulker boxes. It's just a little bit inconvenient to do it right now when I am building, you know, all this. Yep. Three. There we go. And then the next layer will be a skirt layer. Okay, climb over here. Give him a toss. Oh, we've been building this thing for days. Yeah, these wooden storage crates, you can... Um, I mean, you, you already saw with my oil industry in a box. You can store stuff in them. And you can then pick it up. And you see the crates will no longer stack with each other. But it retains its inventory. So yeah, the IE crates are shulker boxes, essentially. And uh, the reinforced versions of them are even blast, per blast proof. Um, the pig iron bow is pure uh, is pure pig iron. I picked that because it has a high bonus damage and a very fast draw speed. All I put on it is as much redstone as would fit. The bow, Mr. Stabby, is a prismarine blade because that has the highest attack. And I don't remember. Ah. A wooden wide guard just because I didn't care. A copper, a copper to a rod just because I didn't really care. <laughs> I don't... I don't favor melee weapons. I am favor ranged. I'm bad at combat. I like to stay as far away from it as possible. In all senses of the word. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. And doop. and this should be going up another three layers and then another skirt, right? One, two, three, skirt. Yep. Two. Ah, good. We're finally out of the tyranny of three. Oops. Wait, what? We should have more scaffold. No, it just goes up to the final level. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so then that is... Wait, what? Yeah, there should be... Did I misplay something? One, two, three. Goes up one, two, three. Did I miscount how many? Four, four, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Did I not grab enough scaffolding blocks? I should have. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, let's just grab that. I'm sure that if I've done something wrong, we'll find out soon. And 
the final layer of skirt. Uvenia. And there we go. Now it just continues up the pipe and the central block, right? Right. For final two layers. That doesn't look right. Okay, I miscounted somewhere. I miscounted somewhere. Shoot. Hmm. Okay. It would help if I could climb the scaffolding properly. Thankfully, sweet healing tripes. Beautiful brand name villager tripes. Oh, that's the problem. I did, in fact, grab enough heavy engineering blocks. I just tricked myself out for some reason. So this whole thing is... Now this whole thing... Yep. Oh, boy. We have to rebuild the whole dang tower. Well, that's life when you are derp. Oh, well... Oh, well. At least deconstructing is a bit less... Let's just dig down this entire layer. Yeah. You know, technically, though, I think all I need to do is change around where the skirting is. You know what I should have done in the first place is I should have just built the uh, scaffolding up to its proper final layer. I have a hammer, in fact. That is a good idea. Thank you. But no, I don't think I need to deconstruct the central core. I just need to move the skirts around. kind of scattering those everywhere, but that's life. Okay, let's get them before they despawn. Okay, and just a few more. Yeah, and in fact, I shouldn't have uh, deconstructed that pipeline. I can just put that back if it will cooperate with me. It's not going to cooperate with me. Oh, boy. Well, we'll just, we'll just rebuild that as we move the skirts. Yeah, I can... I can almost tag it all the way up. There we go. There we go. And finally, the last few. Over on there. Okay, now, proper placement of our skirts. We have to be a proper lady with this thing. So it first goes just up from the base layer. The game is lagging. Beautiful. Always wonderful. Always gets me paranoid that we're about to see a crash. 
One, two, three, four. So. One, two, three, four. I can just barely reach it from here. Two, three, four. Yes, good. Proper first layer of skirt. And unfortunately, with the pipeline all the way there, we need to kind of work our way around cautiously. This is going to be hellacious when it comes time to... Okay, one, two, three, four. That level there. Ah. Two, three, hmm. There we go. I think I might need just some construction. I can use these sheet metals as just construction blocks. That'll work. And all the way around. That works. Okay, so next, I need to go up. One, two, three, four. Over onto that. And then I can kind of yeah, secret agent sneak my way around. And then unfortunately I need to deconstruct that. Reconstruct on that side, do that on the other side. This is going to get more and more problematic as I go higher and higher. Oh no wait, I can... One, two, three, four. Over onto that side. There, that works. I was overcomplicating that. Oh, you have a wonderful series of derp to start today, don't you? Yeah, this is a real early morning stream for me. <laughs> I, uh, I had to start really, really early in the morning to film another episode of Breath Edge. So, I'm a little bit tired out from starting early and from already filming today. I know there is no excuse, though. Not for this level of derp. One, two, three, four. That doesn't look right. Did I pick up another... One, two, three, four, one... Ah, oh, right, I moved the scaffolding up one layer higher than it should be, didn't I? Yeah, and I picked up an extra scaffolding. Just because I was wondering what was going on before. Okay, cool. I think our system is all right here. Oh well, we'll get that later. Yes, you're looking forward to having to build this on your own, ain't you? Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. And I'm just bad at assembling complex multi-blocks is the, is the short story there. Okay. Get on up there, you... And we catch ourselves. Okay. That should be everything. Now, where do we smack this thing? Uh, da, 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 da. On the redstone block. Oh boy. We. Aha! 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 Yes! Beautiful. All the derp has gotten somewhere. Wonderful, wonderful news. Let's move our oil industry. Okay, so. Oh, the input is over there. Of course it is. And the output is over there. Of course it is. Hmm. Oh, we have to move that torch. Oh, well. Wow. 
Okay, let's get our outputs and inputs properly sorted. Wait, is that liquid or is that solid? Where's the solid exporter on this thing? There it is. There it is. I didn't bring a chest for that. Oh well. Oh well. Let's move it out one farther. Yeah, because I sure as hell ain't rotating this entire multi-block. Okay, so next, I'm going to want to build our three liquid tanks. How are we for chunk space? We're doing okay. And I'm going to go grab some construction blocks. Nothing pretty, I'm just going to grab some dirt blocks from the Normans. I know, I know. But, again, it, well, I'll tell myself it's a temporary measure. It's as temporary as any government program. It'll last forever. Okay, some dirt walls. The thing that the Normans need right now is they need to make themselves some tapestries. I keep on putting off giving them the color and wool that they're going to need. Yes, don't you... Riley, don't you miss getting your, your chat spammed with random French? It's the millionaire experience. You, you get beautiful nostalgia watching this stream, I'm sure. I don't know how you could destroy such a charming village. Okay, so... Long and the short of the story here is we're gonna need to start building three, three uh, liquid tanks. Let's turn off the chunks. No, actually, let's not turn off the chunks. Let's, yeah, okay, I've, I've built that to the limit there. I'd like to try and keep this all in one chunk. You're building yourself a whole new island? That's bold. That's very bold. Okay, and how far does it extend on this side? Well, I'm glad I could help, Riley. Alright, so, our tanks. Yeah, we're going to need to build three of those. So let's grab all these. Tank the first. Tank the second. Hmm. Oh, are you talking about the Weeping Angel Island, Riley? I've managed not to get tagged by a weak being angel so far, but I know what you're talking about if that is the weeping angel island. How are you going to deal with... Are, are you just going to annihilate the little... Um, the hostile Aztec village on there? You are being rude, villagers. Uh, for the purposes of chunk loading prints... Trying to minimize the amount of area that I need to load because you are very limited in how many chunks you're allowed to load by the forge loader, and I do not know when I'm going to get world anchors. Speaking of. Why can't I jump this fence? Okay. Yeah, speaking of, let us go on here. Let us claim the chunk and load it. Yeah. 
Oops. How do I pan the map? I guess I can't pan the map. But yeah, with, with the blood bank... Why is that area loaded? Oh, that's where the copper is. With my original base, a little extra for the power gen over there. Yeah, I'm already through nearly a fifth of the chunks that I can load. So I'm trying to minimize... I, I'm trying to maximize the amount of productivity I can get within a single chunk that is going to be active, you know? Okay. And undo. Hmm. Maybe these tanks need to be separated out a bit more. Oh well. And let's put those away. I guess put those away for now. Okay. Get out our sheet metal. How many did I need for each tank? I need 34? I, ah, there it is, there it is. Let's kind of do that one at a time. Just toss it over there. I hate when the weight doesn't update correctly, except when it's in my favor, then I love it. Okay. And I think these are pretty similar to silos in how they're constructed. <sighs> Dang it. Yeah, I think a backpack would be pretty convenient for this. Which is why I can't have nice things, of course. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Ah, get on there. Get on there. Okay. Da, 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 da. From test builds in my creative world, I know how to build a silo. And then I can tell just from the block count that this is just a shorter silo. And then I should be able to give that a boop. Right. Yeah, and that's a tank. So, ah, good. Good thing we turned on F7 mode. So we can tell that we're going to need some lights all over this place. Uh, yeah, we're going to need some lights on the skirts. Going to need some additional lights on the pump jack. I wish F7 mode wouldn't update with the dynamic lighting. But, if wishes were fishes, we would all be sushi. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yes, falling off the multi-block is even worse when you can't exactly see where the multi-block is and just roughly where the textures have replaced it. And that should cover that. Excellent. How do I plan on getting the diesel gen started? I will just go and grab my capacitor. Which I think should have at least some charge. It just needs a tiny amount of charge just to, just to kickstart the system. Ah, shoot. Come on. Come on. Uh, need to get it up there. This sucks. Why does sheet metal have to weigh so much? That's just Austin giving us... Oh, come on. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. Yeah, I probably should have built the thermionic fabricator in a backpack. That would help out tremendously with this. No, not in the central one. Just so that we keep the input handy in case we need it. Okay, and I think I just had some spare sheet metal for reasons of reasons. Okay, and up. Okay, that's a bit easier. It's a bit easier when you build the whole layer, the first layer. And there we go. So there's our three tanks for our diesel, for our uh, gasoline, and for our lube. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way of predicting which one is going to be which unless I go and get a fluid router. Yeah, I think it's called a fluid router, which, eh, but I think then I would need samples of all three liquids anyway in order to program it, so nothing to it but to, but to uh, just start building the diesel gen. So for that, we are going to need our five fluid pipes, which we already have, our final six steel scaffolding. I have an extra just for some reason. We're going to need a redstone heavy engineering block, 13 of these, all four of these generator blocks. And I think that we're just getting a bunch of quests done right now because I didn't have these all in my hand at once at any one time. I don't really need it. What, the fluid router? Um, yeah, that's everything. Okay, so stop the auto build. And let's move this. Thankfully, thankfully it looks like none of the blocks in this thing are particularly heavy. So, I'm presuming that this side with the generator blocks and the fluid pipes is going to be the input. So let's build this thing facing this way. Okay, so... A T with the generator in the center and the fluid pipes leading inward. Okay. And that would just be one, two, three. With the... Yeah. Buffer of 25,000. Well, that's kind of why I'm building the diesel generator here. Because I'm presuming that if I kind of... If I route the fluid pipe in such a way that it leads to these two tanks first, that should mean that these two tanks end up being like lubricant and gasoline, while all the diesel will be left over here by default. So, with the tank here... Is there any way to make these pipes a priority? Hmm. Regardless. Regardless. I kind of have a filtration system built in here just because the diesel should be the only fluid left in the pipe by the time it reaches here. That's the rough plan. Okay, so, yeah, yeah and the radiator blocks at the end. And I remember the radiator blocks are just a straight up wall like that get them just out of my system as well as the fact that the diesel blocks are just a T like that so second layer Oop. okay a C shape a thick C of uh, 
yeah, pipes are a bit meh. I'll probably be replacing them for buildcraft pipes straight away as soon as I have the diesel to do it. That way I can use diamond pipes to filter everything perfectly every time. Okay, so redstone in the center on this side. With just everything else being heavy engineering. And finally, it looks like a, a T across of heavy engineering blocks on the final side. And where do I smack this thing? With, uh, on the central generator block. Okay. A do. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, she's a beauty. She is a glorious, glorious beauty, is she not? Okay, okay, okay. Where can I place some torches just to keep this thing lit up? Okay, let us go grab our capacitor and let's give this thing a jump start. Uh, overflow isn't an issue with Buildcraft fluid pipes, though. It's an overflow with item pipes. And the way that you deal with that... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the pollution filter. Thank you for reminding me. I'm also going to need a second pollution filter. I only bought one. But I'm going to need a second one for the distillation tower, aren't I? I realized that between episodes. Ow. Oh, that's right. I left some wood on the cooker. But yeah, I've been uh, I've been experimenting with builds in creative for getting around buildcraft's uh, the limitations of buildcraft item pipes. And I think that if I can build a buildcraft power system to get myself some gates, that I should have a pretty good thing going. Distillation doesn't make pollution? That's wonderful news. But I mean, the distillation tower says that it's environmentally unfriendly. The book is lying to me, Riley. I'm being sabotaged. Okay, okay, okay. Um, If not for that one. Oh, right, the capacitor. The capacitor. Shoot, I've had this thing on output only. Okay. That's fine. Let's just take that off, and let's uh, let's just give it a little bit of charge. Uh, how am I doing on? Where is my voltmeter? Da, 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 da. Where is my voltmeter? There it is. Yeah, that's a problem. I think I need to go turn the pump jack off to let this thing charge a little bit. Okay. Turn that off. Give it just a little bit of charge. It shouldn't need too terribly much. It just needs enough for the pump jack to extract a little bit of oil. It needs enough for the distillation tower to fire, like, once. And that should do it. That should be enough to just kickstart this industry. But it is my derp on not having this thing on charge mode. Yep. Why are you so slow? What else is taking power right now? With the pump jack off, all of it should be going into the trickle charge of that thing. Um, I guess that while it's charging, I can go and... Start setting up that filter. So I'm going to need three of these because I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm going to need a hopper. Okay, and for that I'm going to need... Where did I put my tool rods? Here. Two of those. Do I have any glue? Yes, I do. Five of those. And make me a hopper. 
over Nya. Uh, the tower also needs power. Yes, I know. That is why I said all I need to do is get the pump jacks to extract a little bit and the distillation tower to, pop, to fire once. I could. I'm going to need to run power lines over there anyway. Well, you know... No, I think I'm just going to start a whole new series of power lines. Yeah. Run power directly over there into the base as well as into the copper pump jack. So I'll just be deconstructing this power system. Hmm. Okay. So, I think the easiest place to set up the filter will just be right, I don't know, over Nya. So, give that, like, let's give that a couple. Because I think this thing spawns pollution so frequently, it needs a couple of blocks. Uh, just to, in case it tries to spawn two blocks of pollution at the same time, it'll have two spaces to do it in now. So then we give it a space just for the purposes of the uh, future automation. And a dupe. And it's going to need this here. Give it a chest. And just in the meantime, should be able to load that all up with a bunch of wool that I will now go buy. Yep, and I'm sure that I will eventually, too, have the crawling power lines going to all of my extraction sites. But thankfully, I found a bunch of good resources. I think I found all the resources I'm going to need, more or less all on the north side of the island. So, if I build my platform just going off the north side, I will have it relatively... I will have everything relatively close by. I'm not going to have to run any lines of power or resources across the entire width of the island. He doesn't have much wool in stock. Or at least he's not letting me buy it. I have the money, don't I? Where's my purse? There it is. Yeah, I have money. He drops wool if you kill him? Well, I am a lover, not a fighter. I'm just gonna give him a little bit of money and go on my way. But yes, obviously, when I start switching to a biodiesel industry, um, I'm going to have to use the excess, the excess hemp fiber just to make a ton of wool and automate this entire thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be kind to the villagers, Riley. Hmm. Okay, let's go check and see how we're doing. Well, no, let's start wiring everything up, too. Yeah. Okay, so. I think that the way I'm going to control this is I'm going to have my capacitor just sit right near. Yeah, I think it only needs one connection. What is the uh, what is the input rate on these things? Hold on, does it say in the manual? Uh, powers, wires, and generators. Basic wiring. Uh, Masters, transformers, wire cutters, feed throughs. Da, 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 current transformer, redstone wires. No, I don't think this thing says anywhere what the maximum transfer rate on these things is, does it? So if I say HV, no, high voltage, no. Well, regardless, it should be okay with just one connection on each side, right? Hopefully. So if I then 
take it over Nya into a relay. Then I should be able to wire that to Nya. Well, I shouldn't wire that to that because when I deconstruct this block, it'll deconstruct that. Yeah, transfer, but they also have an input limitation rate, don't they? They have a maximum transfer and they have a maximum input. Hmm. You know, it might do to like do a pass through here just so that I don't have wires sitting everywhere. Like if I do a pass through right here up to like near, get that very neat and out of the way. And then from like here to, I don't know, here. Yeah, if I just dig down a little bit, I should have my shovel in my hand for this. Make kind of a maintenance layer down here. So then on there, and axe, you can be sacrificed for this. Yeah, these things work as pass-through blocks. Okay, so then I need to just run a trench directly over to there. And that should be all I need to do there. So then if I, hmm, how do I want to do this? Over the floor or over the, yeah. And the generator produces 5K? Yeah, maybe need to, maybe need to. Well, we'll figure that out when, when we need to, if we need to. Okay, so can I? Hmm, it's a little bit too... Okay, so if I... Over there... Yeah, that should be a nice corner. So then... From there to there. From there to there. From there to there. And then... That should have everything connected and relatively out of the way of danger. Now, does my maintenance layer need any more lighting? Probably. Let's just have some safety torches down there. There we go. Nice kind of uh, slightly discreet wiring. Yeah, I will have to look in the config files to see what the exact number is. It should have an input limit of some type. It, it really should, Riley. Okay, let's see if we have enough juice to kickstart this industry. Eight hundred fifty thousand RF. That's a good start. Hmm. I remember reading somewhere in the wikis that these things have a maximum transfer limit and a maximum input limit. Or was it a maximum output limit? Either way, they had two different limits on them. 
Okay, so deconstruct this. That'll just it'll be fine. So now I think that if I right click like that, that'll be input on the bottom. Let's double check. Yeah, input on the bottom, output on the top. And then we can take this. Let's give that a torch just because that area is getting dark. And hopefully, cross your fingers, everyone. Why, you know. Why, you know. Come on. Okay, it lost a little bit of power. Okay, so these things... Where is the problem? Okay, is the problem over here? No. The distillation tower has full power. So, I made a mistake somewhere down here. Okay, so... You won't tell me if you're storing any energy or not. Can HV cables not pass through? Hmm. Okay, so the distillation has ta power has tower. Oh, I forgot to connect. I forgot to connect the corn. No, I didn't. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. So did I... Is it just... Is the corner too sharp? It must be that the corner is too sharp. Even though it's rendering, it's not transferring. Well, that's a bit annoying. Well, that works. It looks jank, but it works. Uh, where's my cable lines? There they are. So there to there, and there to there. Aha! Okay. Okay, neat. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, so I have gasoline and diesel in here. So the next thing coming out of the pipe should be gasoline, right? So then if I take off here, are you filling up with gasoline? No, you're filling up with diesel. Shoot. Ah, dang it. Dang it. Dag nabbit, damn it. Okay. Okay. Well, shoot. Okay. Well, we can fix that. We can fix that. We just need to dupe, dupe, and dupe. Now that'll fill up with all the gasoline. And now we need to just give it another burst of power in order to just run the diesel, the distillation tower a few times. And it'll have diesel coming into the final tank. So we need to jumpstart this thing twice, but that's fine. It shouldn't need very much power, it needs 16k. Oh. Yeah, use a bucket to take the diesel out first. I forgot that buckets are compatible with the distillation tower. I don't think the, G the GUI had a bucket slot, did it? Uh, I don't know. Did it? Oops. Okay, LV cable down there. It just needs like 16,000 RF or so. It doesn't need much. Get rid of all this jank that I picked up. And where is my voltmeter? Did I throw out my voltmeter? Did I just throw out my dang voltmeter? Uh, 
Ah, the uh, the IE tanks can't be? Okay, cool. Well, it's fine. Da, 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 da. If we lost our voltmeter, they aren't expensive. Yes, I should not be trusted with the trash can. It is too much responsibility for me. I know. I know. God, this is a bad, le bad lag spike. JEI is just not being friendly. And now it should just be a piece of copper and two sticks, right? Right. That's fine. So it's like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna get... Okay, why you know? Why you know? Oh, because this is set to output. Derp. A her, a der, a derp. There we go. Yeah, we go. Oh, you just get all that sweet energy juice inside of you, and we'll give it another go. Let's give it 32, just for luck. I think the distillation tower only needed 16,000 to do a single firing, but we'll give it a bit extra. Okay, now set you back to output mode. Move you over. Okay, so now, with the tanks individually filtered for their appropriate liquids... And I, I could kind of interact with them via a bucket if I use this metal barrel to input into them. I could kind of manually fill them with a bucket then. Okay, why you know. But yeah, this thing had bucket slots this whole time. Damn. Okay, why you know. Yeah, you went empty. I should have disconnected. I should have turned off the pump jacks. Damn it. Oh, this is turning jank. This is turning jank. This is jank and fail. Oh, no. I had it perfectly lined up for a jump start the first time, and now, now it's all turning to failure. Oh no. Ugh, but I want that gasoline for buildcraft so bad. I want that sweet power for all the copper so bad. It must be done. Okay, get you going one more time. This time, get you a sweet fat charge while we go and we put some levers on those damn pump jacks. I don't need to almost fill it up. It just needs to charge for like a minute or two. It'll be fine. All I need to do is, let's see here. Do you have any oil in you? No, so I can't turn the pump jacks off, damn it. Oh wait, 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 wait. I didn't run the pipe over to this thing fully, did I? I could have diesel just sitting in the pipe. Okay, okay, okay. So, first step is we need to, over here, run it through here. And now if I look in it with a bucket, it has a little bit of diesel. It has just a trickle. Okay, but that trickle should be enough. Son, cooperate with me. There we go.
I forgot to complete the piping. But that's okay. That's okay. We now have a little bit more of a jump onto it. Yeah, that's a little bit more jump. If I'm lucky, I'm feeling lucky, punk. Okay, okay, okay. So, capacitor onto here. Switch it back to output mode. Give it a nice little topper. Give it a nice little wire. Ow. Goodness gracious, that hurts. And now I should be able to run this over Nya. And I believe it just needs a redstone signal to output from the tank, doesn't it? Yeah, nearly a bucket of diesel. Oh, that's glorious. Okay, so I should be able to then... Right? No. Right, it needs to be on... That one, right? Oh! Oh! Oh, we have ignition. <laughs> oh, that's glorious, glorious, glorious power. And now it should just be building. That works. That works beautifully. We're filling up with gas. We're filling up with lube. I need to get a chest for this thing when it spits out bitumen still. Let's go get that. But now we have proper power. I have the power. And I'm going to need to build a lot more relays to start running this HV cable everywhere. All right. Well, well, well. Well, welly, well. This is wonderful, beautiful, glorious day. All right. Well, I was hoping to get more done. But like I said, this is a late start on the stream because I was filming Breath Edge before. The household is going to start waking up pretty soon. And I derped a lot more than I was expected getting this assembled. I should have planned for the derp. I should have assumed derp and fail. Regardless, though. I think that getting the oil industry assembled in one day is pretty nice. Oh, boy. I thought these things only output um, carbon gas. I thought they didn't uh, output sulfur as well. Now, oh dear, it's not shutting off the battery on its own. It must be because it's draining, it's draining um, from the pump jacks and stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna need a comparator to control this thing properly. Regardless, though, shut that off for a little while just to just until we can get proper automation of this filter going. We'll have this on redstone control until I can. Oh, boy. Yeah, stay away from those. Don't put your tongue on power lines, kids. Oh, boy. But OK, we got less done today than I was hoping to, but we still got the entire thing assembled and going. We have the circle of power. It's beautiful, it's glorious, it's wonderful. So, Riley, Prince, thank you so much for keeping me some company, some encouragement in my uh, 
in my disability of uh, being excessively burdened with derp. Thank you so much for joining me in this. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I'm going to have to hunt down some aluminum and make myself that, uh, make myself a, a, uh, make myself the power suit. Yes. Either that or I'm going to need to be a little bit more careful with this. But thank you all for showing up. Thank you for keeping me company. You both have yourselves a beautiful evening and everyone else out there. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Have yourself a beautiful evening. Thank you. Good night, everybody.